my dear students. I remain your media lesson teacher on financial accounting, Mr. Aremo Bamidele Okpoyemi. The topic for today is three colon cash book. Introduction. The primary aim of every business is to make profit. It is not how much you sell your products or goods in business that matters, provided you don't sell below the cost price, but how often you turn over your stocks. How will this happen? How will you make a lot of people patronize you more than other competitors? Discounts answer this question. You introduce discount by reducing the price of your goods to customers in order to encourage buying in large quantities, prompt payments, and more patronage. As you give discounts to customers, you also receive discounts from your suppliers. These discounts are called cash discounts, which are basically known as discounts allowed and discounts received. In this regard, you will have to create another colon on both sides of double colon cash book for recording them. When this is done, the cash book ceases to be called double colon cash book, but simply known as three colon cash book. This will be our focus for today. Before we proceed, let's look at our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, all students listening to me will be able to 1. Describe three colon cash book. 2. Analyze the procedures for preparation of three colon cash book. 3. Discuss the treatment of cash discounts in three colon cash book. 4. Draw out the format of three colon cash book. And 5. Prepare three colon cash book of a business at the end of the month. What is three colon cash book? Three colon cash book is the form of cash book which combines cash, bank, and discounts accounts into a single book. This type of cash book is usually maintained by large firms which receive and make payments by cash as well as by bank which frequently receive and allow cash discounts. Therefore, Three colon cash book is the type of cash book which is used for recording receipts and payments of cash and bank transactions as well as receipts and allowance of cash transactions. It therefore has columns for date, particulars, folio, discounts, cash, and bank on both debit and credit sides. The discounts on the debit side is called discount allowed, while that of the credit side is known as discount received. What are the procedures for the preparation of three colon cash book? The procedures of recording transactions in three colon cash book is similar to that of double colon cash book. The only difference between the two of them is that double colon cash book has two money columns, which are cash and bank, whereas three colon cash book has three money columns, which are cash, bank, and discounts. The cash and bank columns of three colon cash book are used as accounts and are periodically totaled and balanced, just like in case of a double colon cash book. The discount colon is only total. It is not balanced because it does not work as an account. In general ledger, two separate accounts are maintained for discount allowed and discount received. The total of discount colon on debit side of cash book represents the total cash discount allowed to customers during the period and is posted to the discount allowed account maintained in the ledger. The total 
of discount colon on credit side represents the total cash discount received from suppliers during the period and is totaled to the discount received account maintained in the ledger. Discount allowed is an expense Why discount received is an income to the business. At this point, we shall go on a short break. When we come back, we will continue with the format of three colon cash book. Stay tuned. You are welcome back to the second segment of financial accounting lesson for today. I remain your teacher, Mr. Aremo Bamedili Okoyemi. A topic of discussion still remains three colon cash book. You recall that we have been able to discuss the meaning and procedures of three colon cash book. In this second segment, we shall be looking at the format of three colon cash book. Just like the format of double colon cash book, where you have uh, the T format, your left hand side is called the debit side, which is receipt side. Your right hand is called the credit side, which is payment side. And you write cash book in the middle. In addition to that double colon cash book, you create another colon, which is called discount on both sides. So on debit side, you will now have six columns, which are date, particulars, folio, discount allowed, cash, and bank. Then on credit side as well, which is payment side, you have the six column which are date, particulars, folio, discount received, cash, and bank. Three colon cash book has six columns on both debit and credit size, which I've explained in that format. The purpose of each colon will be briefly explained. Number one, date. The date colon is used to enter the transaction date. Number two, particulars. The particulars colon is used to write the name of the account to be debited or credited in the ledger as a result of cash or bank transaction. Number three, folio. Each account in the ledger is assigned with a unique number. The number of each ledger account in the general ledger is entered in folio column. Number four, discount. The amount of discount allowed is recorded on debit side and the amount of discount received is recorded on credit side in discount column. The total of debit column and credit colon are posted to discount allowed account and discount received account respectively. Number five, cash. The amount of cash received is entered on the debit side and the amount of cash paid is entered on the credit side in cash colon. This colon is totaled and balanced like a ledger account. Number six, bank. The amount of all receipts and payments made by the bank account are entered in bank column of the cash book. The column, this column is also totaled and balanced like a ledger account. We shall go on a short break now. When we come back, we will conclude this lesson with an illustration. See you shortly. You are welcome back to the final segment of financial accounting lesson for today. I remain your teacher, Mr. Aremoba Midele Okoyemi. Our topic of discussion still remains three-column cash book. You will recall that we have been able to discuss the meaning and procedures 
of 3 colon cash book in the first segment. We were also able to analyze the format of 3 colon cash book in the second segment. We shall be concluding today's lesson by practicing a question. Let's pay more attention. Illustration. Write up the 3 colon cash book from the following details and balance off as at the end of the month, 2008. September 1. Started business with cash at bank, 10,940 naira. September 3rd, received check from customers, less 5%, 3,100 naira. September 6th, cash sales, 8,200 naira. September 8th, paid rent by cash, 1,350 naira. September 10th, banked the cash held by the business, 5,000 naira. September 15th, paid creditors by check, less 4%, 4,800 naira. September 25th, Withdrew cash from bank for business use, 1,200 naira. September 38, paid wages in cash, 518 naira. Illustration, uh, the illustration. The, question, the solution to this illustration is that you first of all look at the transactions involving discounts. There are two transactions there, on the 3rd and also on the 15th. So, we receive check from customer less 5%. How do you calculate this one? Value multiplied by 5%, which is equal to 3,100 Naira multiplied by 5 over 100, which will give us 155 Naira. So the discount that we are allowing to customer that is paying us is 155 Naira. So you less that 155 Naira from the value, which is 3,100 Naira, and it gives us 2,945 Naira. That is the amount the customer is going to pay us. On September 15th, you discover that we, are, we, we paid creditors, that is our supplier by check, with less, less 4% discount for us. So how do you calculate this one? Value multiplied by 4%, which is equal to 4,800 Naira multiplied by 4 over 100, which will give us 192 Naira. So the discount that we receive from our supplier is 192 Naira. Amount we are paying him is to less that 192 Naira from 4,800 Naira which will give us 4,608 Naira. So we are paying him 4,608 Naira, and he, 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 we receive the discount of 192 Naira from him. Now you make the posting. Before then, you make the T-format, debit side, credit side, put cash book as the label, and you have your six columns on the debit side and six columns on the credit side. You label it, which is uh, date particular folio discount allowed, cash bank on the debit side and date particulars folio discount received cash and bank on the credit side don't forget the first line what do you do under the date of both side you put 2008 and under discount cash bank on both sides you pull the naira symbol on september 1 we started business with cash at bank you debit capital which is 10,940 Naira under bank colon. On September 3rd, you receive check from customer, you less 5%, which we have calculated earlier on. How do you post this one? You debit it, under particular, you write customers. Under discount allow, you write 155 Naira, and under bank, you write 2,945 Naira. Then September 6th, cash sales, which is 8,200 Naira. You sell. What do you do? You receive the money. So under debit side, under uh, particulars, you write sales. And under cash, you write 8,200 Naira. The next transaction is on September 8. We paid rent by cash. Paid rent. Money goes out. So you go to credit side. And uh, you, you under particulars, you write rent. Under cash, you write 1,300 and. 50 Naira. So you move on to the next transaction, which is September 10. Bank the cash held with the bank with the business. What happened here? That is what we call contra entry. Contra entry. You have some cash in the business. So you have to post some of them into the bank. It means that cash goes out from the business and also enter the business in the bank. So, on the 10th, on both sides, the debit and credit side, under particulars of debit side, you write cash. Under folio, you write capital letter C. And 
on that bank, you write 5,000, which means that the money, 5,000 naira, enters into the bank account of the business. Then on the credit side, the same date, September 10, under particulars, you write bank. Under folio, you write capital letter C. Under cash, you write 5,000 naira, which signifies that the cash goes out from the business. Then you come to the next transaction, which is on the 15th. Paid creditors by check, less 4%. We have calculated that one earlier on. What happened to that? Money goes out on the 15th. You record it on the credit side. Under particulars, you write creditors. Then under discount received, as we have worked earlier on, you write 192 Naira. Under bank, you write 4,608 Naira. On the 25th September, we withdraw cash from bank for business use. You discover this time around also that this is another contra entry. Money is going out from the bank and coming into the business as cash. So you record it on the both sides. September 15, under debit side, you write bank. You write capital letter C under folio on the debit side. And you write 1,200 1, Naira under cash, which means that the cash comes into the business. Then under uh, on the credit side, on the same date, under particulars, you write cash. And you put capital letter C on the folio colon. And uh, under bank, 1,200 Naira, which signifies that money goes out from the business through bank. Then the last transaction there, which is on the 30th, paid wages cash. Paid wages in cash. 518 naira. What happened? Money goes out. Under particulars of the credit side, you write wages. And under cash of the same side, you write 518 naira. So you have finished posting all the transactions. The next thing you do is to compute the balances. How do you do this? First of all, start from the debit side. The discount allowed, total it. Whatever you have there, you write it as total. Then the discount received on the credit side, you do the same thing. Then under cash of both sides, you total. Whatever you have, you subtract. Example, uh, then also on the credit side, the cash and the bank. You do it as well. You total. When you total, whatever you have, you make the subtraction. So you see the computation as I have displayed now. The cash side on the debit side is totaled 9,400 Naira. Why the cash colon on the credit side is totaled 6,868 Naira. When you Subtract, you have 2,532 Naira. That is the balance. That is the balance carried down. Then on bank colon, on the debit side, you have 18,885 Naira. And on the credit side, you have 5,808 Naira. So when you subtract, you have 13,077 Naira. That is the balance carried down. And you have this balance carried down as the last day of the month. Balance carried down. You write it. So when you now total both the debit side and credit side of cash and bank, you have the same total there. And after you have done that, you come down, you bring down the balance that is carried down on the credit side to the debit side to start another transaction of a new month. Make sure you go through this illustration over and over again. Now, assignment. Locate any wholesaler within your vicinity. Collect all his or her transactions details for a month and prepare a three-colon cash book with it. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Kindly visit the Lagos State Ministry of Education Twitter page at LASG Education for soft copy submission of assignment and for your questions. For incremental knowledge on this topic, please visit the following website, www.accountingformanagement.org, www 
wallstreetmojo.com and www.investopedia.com. Please stay safe and God bless you, my darling students. Mm -hmm.